I am Jeremiah Ajuda Dusu, the author of Jad's Business and Financial Accounting. Welcome to class. Okay, so let's not waste time, right? Mm -hmm. Today we're looking at, uh, of course, we're still on group balance sheet or what we call consolidated balance sheet or consolidated statement of financial position, right? So today we're looking at another, you know, uh, subtopic or a scenario under the group balance sheet, okay? So let's. Okay, today we're looking at uh, the venture of a subsidiary. Okay, uh, of course, I have taught the class on the venture already, so I, I was able to explain, you know, that aspect. Okay, but for the sake of this class, I'll just probably just quickly do, you know. Run through, of course, at this level, you understand that um, as a business, you can raise funds through shares, starts by selling equity that's valuable to be part of your own, uh, part of ownership of the business. So, you sell shares to them, ordinary shares, right? And then you can do preference shares as well. Then, another way you can raise funds is through the ventures, okay? So, instead of issuing shares, you can you can issue debts, and instead of selling shares, you can sell debts. So, it, it simply means that. You're entering into a bond, a long-term bond, with um, you know investors, you know to owe them, you know, uh, for a specific period of time, you know, at a fixed interest. So typically, instead of you know referring to them as shareholders, okay, we refer to them as the uh, debt holders, or what you call. The venture holders, right? So the idea is that you know shareholders are like owners. That's a relationship. But here is a creditor relationship. So whether profit is made or not, you expect to pay them their interest. Okay, right? That is the venture. Of course, it can be redeemable. It can be convertible. It can be naked. I have mortgage, so I've taken a class on that already. So, but what I'm actually talking about here is uh, the venture with respect to what consolidated um, statement of financial position or with respect to good balance sheet. Okay, so what I'm saying is that you know the holding company <coughs> can decide to raise money through the ventures, the subsidiary can also decide to raise money through the ventures. Okay, of course, from the perspective of the person raising the money. It's a liability, a long-term liability, okay? So the ventures are long-term liabilities. But now, what we're saying is that at consolidation, of course, you know, you're bringing in the holding company's balance sheet and the subsidiary balance sheet to be one. So if the holding company has issued the venture, that means you have the holding company's balance sheet, for instance, subsidiary's balance sheet. So, of course, let's say long-term liabilities. You have the venture, the venture for holding company, let's say 200. The venture for subsidiary, let's say 100. So it means that at the point of consolidation, in the venture, at the point of consolidation of what? 200 plus what? 100, which is what? 300. Okay? So that means that when we're talking about the venture of a subsidiary, you can have what they call a separate, separate what? The venture. That is, the holding company has its own debenture. The subsidiary has its own debenture. So the holding company has issued a debenture. The subsidiary has also issued what the debenture. So that means at the point of consolidation, you add up the two to have the debenture at the point of consolidation. Okay? But now there's something called <coughs> intra group debenture. So what we're seeing here is that the holding company is also investing in part of the debenture of the subsidiary. So what I'm saying is this, 
here you can see that of course the holding company has its own venture the solar has, has its own venture but it is possible that the holding company would have invested in this solidarized venture so instead of this 100 naira now to be separate basically not involving the holding company if the holding company had invested in it that means the holding company has a part of it so it means that of course, if the holding company is investing in the solidarity venture, it is an asset from the perspective of the holding company because it's an investment. Okay? So in the holding company's balance sheet now, you'll be having maybe an asset. Uh, let's say the venture in subsidiary. Okay? So let's assume that the holding company has 30 of this venture. Okay? So if the holding company has 30 of this venture, it means that what? There is an intra-group what debenture. So if the holding company has 30 of this debenture, so it means that in the holding company's balance sheet, it is an asset. Of course, in the social balance sheet, it's a what? A liability. So at the point of consolidation, you expect that this 200 of the holding company will be plus what? This 100 of the social minus what? This 30, right? Which will be 200 plus what? 70. That's 270 because here, there's a credit of what? 30, with respect to what? With respect to the what? The debt issued to the what? Holding company. Then, from the holding company's perspective, it's what? A 30 with respect to the investment in the subsidiary. So, at consolidation, of course, this is a debit balance. This is a credit balance. So, at consolidation, this 30 will cancel out this what? 30. Giving this to what? 70. So, when you add up, you have 270. That is what we call intra-group debenture. But then, of course, if you remember, in our issue of shares, there's something called nominal value. Nominal value, or what you call registered value. So that means if you're issuing shares, there's a particular value that the share is registered with. So you cannot issue above that registered value or issue below the registered value. That's what we call at par, at premium, and at what? Discount. So you have that for shares. You also have that for debentures. So when you issue debentures like that, you can issue at par, you can issue at premium, or issue at what? Discount. Now, when you issue at par, you mean that you are issued at exactly the this what? Uh, the at exactly the nominal value. So let's look at this scenario now here. You see that this subsidiary is having 100 what? Naira as what? As debenture. So let's assume it is what? 100 stock of debenture. Okay? At what? 1 Naira per what? Share. You know? Just for explanation. Okay? So it means that nominal value of this share is 1 Naira. So if you're issuing 100 stocks, it would be what? 100 Naira. So of course that is what you what you what you, 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 you record in your balance sheet, right? So let's say this stock here is 100 stock at one naira. So that means you have 100 here. So then this is what the head office, or oh, sorry, the head uh, holding company, you know, has invested. Holding company invested 30. So we are assuming that the holding company also bought it at one naira. So that means that the investment is at what par. The investment at what par. The holding company is. A, is paying exactly the same nominal value. So that is why you can see that it is easy clearing out. The 30 here is counting the 30 here. So that the debenture at consideration is what? 270. That is for at what? Par. But it can be at premium. That means that what? Even though the nominal value of the stock is one naira, the investor might pay more than one naira. So let's assume that holding company that is investing here now is buying 30 units. Okay, at one naira fifty kobo. That means that what the only company would have paid that much. Thirty times one fifty one point five, right? So what's that? One point five there. Forty-five. So that means that the only company would have paid what? Forty-five. So the asset, which is the investor in venture subsidiary, is 45 naira. 
But the starting unit, they are paid 150 per what? Stock. But don't forget, the nominal value of the stock is what? One naira. So that means they are investing at premium. So if they are investing at premium, it means that what? Of course, the subsidiary, which is the what? The person that is raising the money will record at what? At nominal value. Any excess goes to reserve. Okay? After that initial share. Now, this one naira now, of course, their nominal value. So they have recorded it at 30. But the investor, which is the holding company, has paid for the five. So by nominal, the nominal that will cancel the 30 will cancel out 30 here. Right? But it will remain in how much? 15. This 15 and I is seen as what? As a good win. So what I'm saying is that this is cost of investment in the venture. How much? 45. What is the what? The venture acquire. Cost of venture acquire is what? 30. Nominal value. So this is 15. This is a good view. Okay? That means that what? You are investing more than what you have acquired. Just like in the normal scenario that we've been doing. Right? So this 15 now will be added to the goodwill that we get on consolidation. So if on consolidation, the goodwill is what? Let's say 300. So the goodwill that will be reported in the balance sheet will be 300 plus what? 15, which is 300 and what? 15. Then the debenture that will be reported to what? To be what? Uh, 200 plus what? 70. Because 30 is the nominal value. 30 has been cancelled out here. Well, 15 here is a good bill. So the 15 good bill now will be added to what? The good on consolidation. Why? The debenture reported to be what? 200 plus what? 70. 30 cancelled out 30. 15 is the good bill. So that is the one at what? Premium. Now, at this count, what it means is that the investor is paying below the nominal value. So, of course, stock here is one naira per share, but the investor is paying, let's say, 90 cobble. So, here, it will be what? 30 units times what? 90 cobble. So, what do you have? Twenty-seven. So the debenture investment from the perspective of the world holding company is twenty-seven. But don't forget, what we expect is thirty. So in this case, an export, a reserve, a credit balance goodwill. So it means that what cost of investment in the venture is what twenty-seven, right? The venture acquired is what thirty. So we have three here. This three is what. A reserve. Do you understand? The three here is what? It's a reserve. The three here is a reserve. So this three will be what? Added to the reserve in the consolidated profit and what? Loss. Okay? This three, so that means that this three here we go to the reserve when you are consolidating because you are paying less than the cost of what? Of what you have acquired, the venture you have acquired. So there's a reserve here. But if you're paying more, there's a good deal. That's when you pass it to the holding of the company. But if you're paying exactly the same value as a par, there's neither good deal nor reserve. Okay, so in this scenario now, remember, it's 30. 30 is coming to the same, but it's going to be remaining 3. That 3 now is a credit balance that will be taken to your words. Your reserve. Okay? But for the premium, it was 45. 30. We cancel 30 here. Remaining 15. That 15 is taken to good view. Okay? But for our par, 30 will cancel 30. Nothing is remaining. Okay, so this is a summary on, you know, uh, consolidated balance sheet involving what? The venture. Okay, or fault of a subsidiary. So what I've said in summary here is that it is possible that the holding company will issue a debenture, the subsidiary will also issue a debenture separately. While consolidation, we add the two to get what? The debenture at consolidation. 
But it's also possible for that we call separate debentures. But now it's also possible that the holding company will invest in the debenture of the world, subsidiary or subsidiary invest in the debenture of the world holding company. But here the holding company is investing in the so it's investing in the debenture of the world subsidiary. Okay? So if the holding company is investing in the debenture of the subsidiary, we have to know, you know the nominal value of the debenture that the holding company is investing in. So we the nominal value, we have to know how much the, 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 the holding company has paid for that what the venture. If the holding company pays more, there's a goodwill. If it pays less, there's a reserve. Okay? But the nominal values will cancel out each other because from the perspective of the world, the holding company is a debit balance. From the perspective of the world, subsidiary is what the credit balance. So when you cancel both, it gives off. But if there's any excess, it's either a good bill, then if there's any what, uh, deficit, it is what? Uh, a reserve. Okay? So take your time, go through it. If you have questions, you can read from the number and display. I'd like to reply with the right word. Answer. So let's quickly take a question. We're going to take questions that will touch, you know, the three scenarios. Okay? So you understand what we're talking about, huh? Okay. Let's quickly take, you know, we're taking three questions, but I'll try, you know, so that you understand, you know, all scenarios, par, premium, and discount. Okay? So let's... Uh, Fast there. So this one is a par. There's a par here. I'm seeing the full of the balance sheet of what? King's PLC and Queen's PLC and that first time is 218. So we have the assets there, land and building, furniture and fitting debtors, 50% 300,000 debenture in Queens, shares in Queens, cash at bank. Then we have a busy long term 15% debenture we have for Queens and Kings preference share with our dry share. They said Kings acquired 90% of the night shares in Queens Limited on the first time system when that was 300,000. Kings also acquired 40% preference shares in Queens Limited for 500,000 incurring the cost of investment. Kings Limited holds 300,000 units of the 50% debenture stock of Queens Limited. The venture stocks of Queens have one Naira nominal value. Okay, so you have to repair the consolidation schedule and consider about 10 of So this is. Uh, testing par. This is testing at par. So let's quickly look at, at it. Eh? So we have consolidation was schedule. Okay. So here there's a cost of control, right? Which is kings in points. I think that's ninety percent, right? 90%. Okay, so this is for ordinary share. And we have uh, cost of control again. This is for preference share. Kings in Queens. What's that? It has uh, 40%. It is 40%. And we have minority. Interest of course, reference to ordinary share is 10 percent, preference share bonds 60 percent. And we have CP and what? Um, so let's go. We have this. All right, so let's do the preference share first. Because this is for Queens. What's the preference share? According to the question, preference share of queens is 600. It's 600. And then 40% is for what? Kings. 60% of the minority interest. So what's 40% of 600? So we have 0 0.4 times 600. 240. So preference share is what? 240. Minority interest will be what? That's 60%. Plus 360. Then we have what? Ordinary share. Oh, 
Online share. Yeah. Is what? 200. Oh, that's 2 million. So that's 2,000 here. Queens has 90%. What's 90% of 2,000? 1,800. 1,800. So minority interest will be what? That should be 200. Right? So what's the next one? Reserve. So what's our reserve there? Our reserve is uh, 1,000. So what do we do? Of course, remember, we're going to have reserve here, which is 1,000. Of course, it's for queens. It will be pre and post. What are the pre here? Queens for the power when reserve was 300,000. This is 300, this is 700. So it will be times 0 0.9. Times 0 0.9 times 0 0.1. So 300 times 0 0.9. Two seventy. So this is two seventy. This is ten percent of this. This is hundred. Then ninety percent of seven hundred. Six thirty is six thirty. So we add this seven thirty plus two seven should be one thousand. Let's try. That's one thousand. So it's correct. So let's go. What do you have there now? You have net asset acquired. This is zero seven zero. This is two. This is two forty. Let's check one eight hundred plus two seventy two zero seven zero. So what's the investment here? What's the investment here? The investment here is. Three thousand. Three thousand. So remember, he said that uh, the preferential investment included the preferential investment is what five hundred. So that means if we have the investment cost of investment to be what uh, three thousand. Preference share is five hundred. So we have two five hundred. So this would be what ordinary share. So cost of investment here. This is what two thousand five hundred. This is what five hundred. So let's go. What are our goodwill? Two zero seven zero five two five. Two It's four thirty. So we have uh, 430. Here is what? 500 minus 240.
260. So let's transfer. Let's dissolve the preference. Take this out of this. 260. So we have 260 here. So what's the good bill on consolidation? Is dash is zero nine six ninety. This is the good bill on consolidation, right? So we have minority interest. What minority interest there? This is 300, 360. This is 660. So what's we have our what? King's Reserve. What is King's Reserve? What is King's Reserve there? What is King's Reserve? King's Reserve. Is one five hundred. One five hundred. Okay. So what do we have? C, P, and L, 630, 1, What do we have? Two, one, thirty. Okay. So that's it. So let's prepare. Consolidated payment of acquisition. So let's go now. So we'll say Kings and its subsidiaries. So we'll say consolidated statement of financial position as at 31st December 2018. I'm going to try and see how we can make it so we can have all scenarios. So this is going to be for par. No, just for the sake of it, okay? Let's call this. Let's call this a par, eh? Okay? So we have our notes. What are our assets? Okay? So this is non current what's non current asset that we have land and building so let's put that note here let's say note one so land and building what land and building there 850 590 850 plus 590 so what do you have One four four zero. One four four zero. What's the next one? Furniture and fittings. So what do we have? One thousand seven seven five. One thousand seven seven five. So what do we have? This will be one thousand seven hundred seventy five. So what do we have? One four forty. Plus one thousand seven seven five three two one 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 five two one five three 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 two What's debtors there? 750, 1, 300. 750 plus 1, 300. Two zero five zero. What are bank? Hmm. 
Three five three five. So what do you have? Two zero five zero three five three five. Two zero five zero plus three five three five. Five five eight five. So you have five five eight five. So what are our good view? Good way here is 690. So the total asset was 3215 loss 5585 loss 690. 9490. So what are our liabilities? So let's go. Long time that will be debenture, right? So what is debenture? Debenture investment by debenture investment by whole company is what? Three hundred, and they said nominal value is one hundred, so that's three hundred thousand. Okay, so that means what do you have here? The venture for subsidiary here that they used to raise fund is 1,000. So that would be what? So the venture here the venture here will be let's call it uh, number 3 we have no three here. So what's the debenture? Debenture for debenture for holding company is two thousand. So K is two thousand. Q will be one thousand minus three hundred, which is seven hundred. So we have two thousand seven hundred. Two thousand seven hundred. So what our reserve, reserve here is uh, two one thirty. So we have um, preference shares. What's the preference share of the holding company here? One thousand. We have one thousand. Then what do we have? Ordinary share. Ordinary share here is what? 3,000. Ordinary share is what? So in add of, what do you have? Excuse me, minority interest. Interest is 660. So let's add up. We have two 700 plus 2130 plus 1000 plus 3000 plus what? 660. We have 9490. So this is for ha. Ah, so what happens if the scenario is for at premium? So we're going to take a question now. Okay, that will help us you know look at the at premium scenario. So here we have a question now. The full represent balance sheet of King's PLC and Queen's PLC after that that's 18. So we have the assets. So it's practically the same thing, but here I can see that the investment in coins for the venture is 350. Every other thing remains the same. 
And then what does it say? Okay, prevent share change here yeah, to 105. I think that's about the only thing. So if we look at this question, everything here is the same. But the only difference here now is that the investment in the venture is at premium. So what do we do? So what it means here, so let's say this is at what? Premium. What it means here is that everything here is the same thing. This is 3215. This will be 5585. Five, okay? The same thing. But the good will now will change because cost of what? Investment in the venture is 350. So the venture at nominal value is 300. So when you take that, you have 50. This 50 is a good way. This 50 is a goodwill. So it means that our goodwill will increase by what? 50. What's the goodwill here? 690. So you can come here and add 690 or you show it as a note. So let's call it note what? Note 4. So note 4 here, goodwill will be what? 690 plus 50. What do you have? Seven forty. So goodwill is seven forty from the perspective of premium. So this will be seven forty. So when you add up, what do you have? Three two one five plus five five eight five plus seven forty. 9540. Now, from the question, our debenture, of course, will remain what? The same. So we have 2700. Reserve will remain the same. 2130. But the question gave us preference share to be what? 1050. Preference is 1050. Right? This 3000, don't forget, 3000 here is what? Ordinary share. Part of my omission there. Eh? So, this ordinary share here is remaining the same. This is also remaining the same. So, when you add up, Two seven hundred loss two one thirty loss one zero five zero loss three thousand loss six sixty nine five forty. So all we've done here basically is to look at another question. That will help us understand at premium. So it's basically the same question, but just that they tweaked it and then told us that the venture investment by the holding company is uh, is what is three fifty. Of course, the nominal value is three hundred, so there's a good deal of it. How do we add it to this six ninety here to get seven forty? So good bill at at premium scenario changed to six seven one forty. So let's take another question. Now we put understand at what discount. So let's put that here at discount. So let's look at the question. The full and the balance sheet of King's Place and Queen's Place at a level of 18. Asset, we have an ability, blah, 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 like that. So it's the same thing, but they've changed the investment in poor the venture to 280. Remember, nominal value is what? One naira. 
So the only thing they've done here, okay, but now share two has changed. Okay, let's go. Based on the question, no. So that means everything, everything remains the same. But the only thing here is that cost of investment in this case now, this is at discount. This is premium. Is 280. Nominal value is 300. So we're going to have what? 20. Right? 20 minus 20. So 20 is a reserve. So that would be added to this. So you can come here and add it, but just show it as a note. So our reserve here, let's call it note what? 5. So let's put that note 5 here. So what our reserve will be? 2 130 plus 20 that's 2 150 okay that's 2 150 so it means that what the goodwill is 690 okay so we have 3 2 1 5 remains the same 5585 five, eight, five. good will be 690 because it's a discount, it will not affect good Premium is what affects good So it will be 690. Okay, so I think this will be 9490. The venture will still remain 2700. Reserve has changed to 2150 based on the question. Preference share. What's prevention according to the question? It's 1050. The ordinary share, what's ordinary share according to the question? 2930. What's my night interest? 660. Okay. What do we have? What do we have? Two seven hundred plus two one fifty plus. One zero five zero plus two nine thirty plus six six zero. Nine four ninety. Okay. So what we've done basically here. is to solve the question that involved the venture. Okay, but in the process, we are going to talk about at par, at premium, and at what? Discount. Okay, so it's around the holding company investing in the debenture of the subsidiary. Okay, if the holding company is doing the same nominal value, then it will need up. But if this at premium, there will be a good deal, at this kind of growth. Uh, a reserve. So we use three different questions to what illustrate the scenario. How are you seeing there? Okay, so take your time, go through it. If you have questions, you can read my numbers. It's going to be guided by the right answer. Don't forget, you can support us by painting that channel by display or sponsor copies of my test book for free to students. Thank you. See you next class. Bye bye.